Hey guys, it's Amanda and Monica Lumi, and in this tutorial today, I'm going to show you how to make the twisty bracelet. This is a hook only design, designed by our good friend uh, Five Kids on Ka Five Kids Calls Chaos on Instagram. Here's one, and then this is just a uh, kind of a demo uh, demonstration for. Uh, the tutorial so hook only design double ended hook is highly recommended uh, I did try to do this on the rainbow loom hook again it is um, a little bit of a struggle but it, it can be done uh, but just is, takes a little bit more of an effort uh, but uh, I do prefer to do it on a double ended hook and I'm going to show you how to do that today this bracelet I did use the limited edition the fireworks bands and then on the inside I use the silicone white the glitter white this one is limited edition as also with the purple and then there is the glitter pink on the inside it's kind of hard to tell that it's pink but it is pink for this bracelet I would highly recommend that you use dual layer bands or silicone bands or limited edition bands just because it is you can see how wide this is um, not wide but how thick it is and it's just a sturdier bracelet and it needs just a little bit of extra support um, with that dual layer or thicker band um, just playing around with different color schemes and you can see this one here I mean I didn't like this color scheme at all that's why I stopped right in the middle but, um, I mean, you can see how durable, thick, and sturdy this one is um, with the, the dual layer bands. Even with, you know, you can see this, how it just kind of stands up on its own with limited edition bands. Highly recommend that. Today, I'm going to be using uh, colors from the Pearl Collection. It's been so long since I've used Pearl Collection bands. Um, I actually had to go downstairs and make myself get bands out of my boxes because I've been so uh, in the habit just in the last uh, month or so digging out of my bag and using silks, using new limited edition bands, and using uh, newer bands out of the Six Center pack. So um, I made myself go get some older bands and try uh, just kind of get in the habit because I'm like, you know, what good are they going to do me sitting down there in a box? So these are like the hot pink and the yellow dual layer. I'm going to be using those. And this is the silver uh, medieval, I believe, um, with the green. It's either the avocado or the lime green or I don't even remember what color it is called, but they are dual layered. So get your goodies. And if you want to do the rainbow color, um, you know, go ahead and get multicolor bands to do this. But today we're just going to be using uh, just two colors for the tutorial. Let's get started. So you basically need to decide what color you want for the inside. And then what color you want to use as the twist bands or twisty color um, on the outside. For the inside, I'm going to be using the green. Outside, I'm going to be using the pink. Okay. Um, so what we're going to do, we're going to going to do the standard six band configuration. Um, if you've watched a lot of videos that I've done for Joe, or we have done for Joe, um, we're just going to start that off as normal, and we are going to start with our inside color cat band and we're gonna pull we're gonna use the inside color first outside color pull that through 
Well, you guys know how to do this. Apparently I don't, but I'm showing you and it's getting all out of sorts. Let's try this again. All right, so you've got your cap band on there. We're just gonna take that off, standard six configuration. Replace that cap band, we've got one side. And we're gonna go back with our inside color. Mine is green. Standard six configuration, which means we're gonna just replace that pink band. Pull it and we're gonna slide. And repeat. Take that band off, grab that cap band, replace, grab our inside band, grab the pink, and replace. If you're using dual layer bands, you're probably got all kind of wiggle different layers rolling around on there. So this is what your hook should look like. Six band configuration. One, two, three, four, five, six. All right. So we're going to cross these bands right here. Cross in the middle. And we will continue to cross all the way to the length of our bracelet um, in this configuration. So now we're going to grab our outside color. Minus pink. Turn it sideways so you guys can see. And we're going to grab one, two, three, these three bands here. And we've crossed these, so we're going to kind of move these out of the way. Pull these three bands over. And what we're going to do is we're going to pick up the last band and the first inside band. And let that pink band drop. First band, drop the pink band, replace that green band. Now what we're going to do, we're going to let this hang. Okay, zoom in a little bit for you guys, see if that's better. So this is what you should have on your hook. So we're going to take that pink band, pull it over, because see we've left this on our hook, and we're going to replace it just like that. And that is where you get that little crossover band, just like that. So we're going to gently slide down to the other end of the hook so we don't get all of our bands crossed over. Shimmy or slide whatever you want to call it. Shake, slimmy, shimmy, shimmy, swimmy, Samsonite. I was way off. Sorry. Quoting some Dumb and Dumber. One of the greatest movies of all time. All right, so this is the side that we have already done. We're going to go ahead and do this side. Remember, we are going to take all three Put it on this band and we're going to drop the middle band, replace these two. Okay, pick up that first green band, drop the pink one, pick that green band back up. And we're not going to put this back on the hook. We're going to Pull that band over, 
slide that down just a little bit and replace it. And you can start to see that form. Grab your inside color. Ours is mine, ours is green. Grab all three. You don't have to slide down to the other end of the hook yet. We can go ahead and just do the side that we've already got right here. Grab all three and grab the outside pink band and replace. Go ahead and give that just a little bit of pull so it's kind of even. Mm, that's what you should have. And slide down to the other end and repeat. Green band. Pull those three off. Grab that outside pink band and replace. I'm gonna give that just a little bit of a snuck so we're even. You should have that and that band is turned over and I don't like it. It's the only thing about dual layer bands. They show dual both sides of the bands. So now, oh, I'm over here, over here, over here, over here. Okay, right here in the middle, we're gonna cross. And we're going to just start the process over again. And that's the only steps that we have for um, this bracelet and this design. So you're going to grab pink for me, whatever color you're going to use. And if you're going to use a multicolor or rainbow color, whatever, um, grab your next color. Three bands. And remember, pick up that first band. Drop the middle band. Pick up that outside band, let this hang. Grab this one and pull it over. Replace that one. Slide to the other side. Make sure all your bands stay in order. Sometimes it's easier if you just roll the hook and kind of push it down to the other end. It depends on your band, what kind of hook you use. Um, some bands, we also have um, a bamboo hook. Limited edition bands work amazingly well on this hook. The dual layered bands, not so well. For some reason, they don't like to slide on here. They work better on this hook. They don't work the best on this hook. So I haven't found the best hook where the dual layer bands work, but, it, but they would do work the best on this one. But anyway, just thought I'd share that. So we're gonna slide that down. All right, grabbing the pink for me. Pulling these three, picking up the first band, dropping the middle band, replacing the last band, and not replacing that one yet. Hooking that over, replacing that, and you should have that. Grabbing my green, picking up these three, replacing that outside band, and replacing this one. I like to give this one a tug, just so we're a little bit even, and we'll slide down to the other side.
Oh, look. Look, guys. My favorite thing with dual layer bands. Watch. Oh. <laughs> if you've seen my tutorials before, you know how much I love it. And Monica hates it. All right. Pick up those three and replace the outside band. Even those bands out if you'd like. And this is where you cross. And then start the whole process off. So I'm gonna leave you now. If you are unsure about these steps, you can back it up a little bit and rewatch. But um, I think that's pretty well explained to you guys. Um, I will come back and we'll show you the finished product. So I am all, why do I keep hitting that camera? I am all done with the length of my bracelet. I actually really like uh, the colors that I chose for this design. Um, it kind of, you know, it looks like a, a stem of a flower on the, in the middle and then the petals of a flower on the outside. So even though this design is called twisty, um, you know, you can do whatever. There's endless possibilities. So we've got fireworks bands here and limited edition bands here as well with the, the purple. And then what I would do, I always like to end my bracelets the way I began with them. So we had the inside color that we used here this is actually, uh, you know that Monica and I like to end our bracelets with two. This band is actually a very, very thick band. So I'm actually just going to pull one through. Try to find the thickest one uh, in my pile here. This one actually looks really thick. So I'm going to pull that through. I would end it on this level here. Because it kind of starts out there. You've got the two there like that. So pull those through. Ooh, I thought I had this open. I guess I did not. Grab your C clip. Poke it through there. Sometimes these things are so stubborn. Sometimes they pop right on there and other times they don't. And there you have your twisty design. Isn't that lovely? I'm actually, I'm absolutely in love with this one. This one I will wear a lot. It looks very summery and I'm so tired of snow. So I will be wearing this on my arm a lot. Monica's not getting this one. Ha ha ha. So anyway, uh, hope you like this design. You can thank uh, Five Kids Calls Chaos for this design. Uh, follow us on Instagram. As always, the links will be down below in the comment box. And tag us both on Instagram. Please share on Facebook as well. We do check our Facebook page a lot. We do post a lot on there. If you do, you know, just because uh, we we share a lot on Instagram doesn't mean that we're not on Facebook. So if you do uh, share on Instagram, we do like to share them on our page as well. So please um, comment, like, and subscribe and tag us both. And today's bracelet is Epic Sphere. Love this design. We do like to make a lot of these. So, um one of our favorites. And then as always, our spread the word in the word. Happy looming and rainbow loom for a cause. Love you guys.